Grasp the nettle and uh, climb the ladder if you like. Combat. Il nous vient de loin, il nous vient de très loin, il a fait le déplacement. And so we have already a third battle. Nous allons être sa présence ici dans la cage à Paris pour cette première du MMA GP. To be honest, it could have been the main card. Karim Gadji versus Felipe. Voilà, Felipe. Voilà, c'est Felipe, the Brazilian. Bit of a mystery man, the Brazilian. Couldn't find any footage of him. Well, I, didn't, I haven't seen any footage. No. Neither me. Voilà, Felipe, on l'applaudit très fort, s'il vous plaît. Il a quasiment fait le tour du globe pour venir sur cette soirée exceptionnelle. Allez, on l'applaudit, s'il vous plaît. Il nous vient de l'autre bout de la planète pour vous ce soir ici à Paris. Well, as well as Felipe makes his way to the ring to some, uh, some lovely uh, Brazilian sounds there. And uh, with his trainers from Portugal, it would appear. I suppose it's the natural choice for um, a Brazilian in Europe, isn't it, Portugal? Yeah, definitely. They speak same language, uh -huh. and uh, they they have a lot of respect between the two countries. Felipe Wallace, uh, Brazil versus France. Obviously. Does it remind you something? <laughs> France, Brazil. <laughs> Obviously, uh, <laughs> Brazil are fighting a very, uh, has a rich history of MMA, doesn't yeah. it? A real strong fighting heritage. It, it was just a start to just do Brazil. Yeah. It's nice that we have someone representing Brazil and the origin of, of the sport. So making his professional debut as well, Wallace Felipe. Uh, that's not to say he won't have had some amateur bouts or performed some BJJ events. But he will be up against it tonight. I'm hoping Wallace Felipe is, uh, has got some ground skills and some striking skills. He's going to need them against his opponent this evening. And uh, for, for Felipe Wallace, Les amis, il it rentre dans la classe, un round d'applaudissements pour Wallace Felipe Il va rejoindre le euh, coin bleu, tranquillement mais sûrement extrêmement concentré, on le sent, il a envie de tout donner, il reste très très zen, très focus. Rappel, effectivement. Yeah, the speaker uh, Benjamin Aurel uh, described how he feels really calm and uh, very focused on uh, his fight. Bien sûr. Et puis Otis face à notre ami Wallace. Il va y avoir, eh bien, un prétendant, un combattant de choc, n'est-ce pas Exactement. Il va avoir fort à faire, car ce soir en face de lui. Il va avoir le Français qui a un record personnel pro MMA d'une victoire, une défaite. Ce soir, Gadget Boy est là. Ce soir, le champion de kickboxing est là. Je vous demande de faire une ovation. And please welcome Karim Gadji. Karim Gadji. Oh, Karim Gadji. From Gadget Boy. 
Karim Gadji, highly decorated Muay Thai and kickboxing practitioner. Uh, over 100 fights, about 120, I think. He shared a ring with some uh, some legends, uh, among them Nicky Holskin, uh, the vastly talented Dutch fighter. UK fans might have seen him fight Kevin Ward from Liverpool or uh, Nigel Thomas from Luton. Um, I believe he's got wins over both of those guys. Yeah, he, he, he will have like a... He's already 39. Yeah, coming to the end of uh, his fighting career, surely. Although, you know, saying that, there have been people that have gone on to fight into their 50s, so, you know... I suppose it's, uh, he keeps himself in tremendous condition. But, but in fight sports, 39 is considered advanced years. Yeah, and when you are thinking about uh, French athletes who should be at V7, you are thinking about Karim Gadji, and uh, it's it's really, really great that he is here fighting Brazilian Wallace Felipe. Karim Gadji is... Uh has got the striking ability to live with pretty much anyone, so I should imagine he'll be on a fast track um, in MMA and he'll want to climb places quite quickly. And why not? So he's got a vast wealth of experience in, uh, in kickboxing and tie boxing. There won't have been much he hasn't seen in those sports. And he's probably forgotten more about fight sports than most of us have ever known. Exactement. So, um, but yeah, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Don't turn over. Don't go and make a cup of tea. This isn't the right time. Uh, Karim Gadji comes to fight. And uh, he will stand in harm's way, not afraid to take a shot to give one back. And uh, he is explosively powerful. Nicknamed the Dutchman, due to his kickboxing style. He's also a break dancer. It's a break dancer. Well, he loves to dance. Uh, he's a big, big, big Le friend courage. of uh, DJ Mays, a big, big DJ who in the years was uh, working with uh, Les amis, Oh Mama. <laughs> I won't, I won't sing it, I won't sing I'll leave the singing to you, Ajir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, good sportsmanship being shown straight over to each other and touching. Alors, it's je nice rappelle effectivement, alors, dans le uh, coin bleu, il a voyagé effectivement depuis l'autre bout de la planète pour venir nous rejoindre. Benjamin Olzems is uh, presenting again de, uh, in the raid. Corner, Wallace Felipe for his debut in the MMA. Traveling from Brazil, Portugal, and now in France. We have with us the Gadget Boy, the champion of kickboxing. Here, the Français, Karim Gadji. And Karim Gadji. Et pour arbitrer ce combat, je vous le disais, il y a Karim Gadji is a striker. Karim Gadji is a beast. Korshi, les amis, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup, Ahmed, pour ton travail well, ici I would think avec that, nous. Uh, Wallace Felipe, de dire, mon cher Otis, if he's done any kind of homework, uh, would want to take this to the ground instantly. Ah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. It's what I, you, I will do first. Oh. Yeah, if you're if you haven't got that kind of extensive kickboxing background, you want, you don't want to fight this man on his uh, on his turf, if you like. You want to take him to the ground, don't you? Put him somewhere where he's not going to be comfortable. Here we go, round one underway. Karim, Karim, Karim. And this could be fight of the night. This could be a show stealer. Oh. And uh, fainting early to try and create the openings, Gadji. But again, Wallace Felipe. He's, China. he's, uh, he's got some height and reach there, isn't he? Yeah. First, first punch. Oh. Yeah, very open. Instantly. Low kick. Wow, instantly. And it's the big right hand. We 
we expect it's a big him, Wallace Felipe? Wallace Felipe. To not be the one Wallace getting Felipe the better of a stand-up contest. And he's the one that drops Gadget. Oh, my goodness. It was brutal. Oh, my goodness. Karim, I'm not sure how he will uh, come back from that. Well, the curse to the commentator. What a rush from Felipe. And it was uh, a straight, I think it was a straight right hand that dropped Gadji straight down the pipe. Oh and uh, we didn't see that coming. Oh, and he's come back. What a great return from Gadji. Gadji's flipped him over. His side control taking the full mount. Oh, oh and it goes back the other way. Well, he's in the half mount. Chari. Again, Karim is playing at home, and I can tell you, the whole audience is with him. Yeah, people are on the edge of the seats, looking around the arena, people standing up, shifting. Oh, my God! Oh, no! Body slam! Ghazi would have felt that. That would take all the air out of you, forcing the air from your body, leaving you winded. And uh, Wallace Felipe, as you said earlier, he has not come to lay down. No. He has not come to visit the beautiful country of France and see what Paris is all about. He's come here to win an MMA bout against Karim Ghazi and get a big name on his record. That's what he wants. It's exactly what he wants. When I saw him at the training, he was really concentrated, not talking to anyone, only focused about fighting and giving some punch. And he, exactly what he did at the start. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you what, he's dominating here at the moment. Yeah, it's really, it will be really, really, really hard if Karim can. Well, the referee stood the back up. Two minutes to go. This is wow. going to suit Gadji more than it's going to suit uh, Felipe. Karim. Or will it? Karim need to finish him now. Karim need to finish him now. If not, it will be impossible for him. Oh, oh my God. He doesn't need that kind of desperation. I, I, I would advise against that kind of panic. But, uh, but he's blocking He's got him. the neck of... Yeah, he's uh, got the neck, man. Again, Gassi doesn't look totally comfortable. And he's it? putting His some pressure. His arms are in there. But... Uh, Felipe is also putting some pressure on his all top of his body. He's going to try and pull that leg out, isn't he? Yeah. Gadget's just holding on. Yeah, exactly. When you are looking at that, it's definitely uh, not He's only a fighter about the top, but the legs. Gadget's got a minute to get through this, and at the moment, he's in uh, survival ah, yeah, yeah. mode, surely. Yeah, exactly. Survival mode. Uh, well, Felipe allowed Gadji to get back to his feet. Is that a mistake? Felipe looked like the one in control down exactly. there on the floor, Gadji. Should he have done that? Oh, look, look, Gadji. Look, Gadji is back. I can he's tell you. He's steaming in. He's definitely feeling that sense of urgency you talked about, Gadji. Yeah. Gadji knows that he needs to finish him now because the second bout, he will not get. Enough recovery. He's showing some distress there. He's grimacing oh, quite man. a lot, Felipe. And flipped onto his back again by Gadji. Well, this, the strength and experience may be starting to tell from Gadji. Yeah. And Felipe showing some signs of distress. I think something might be wrong. He might be injured in there. He yeah. was uh, grimacing and wincing quite a bit. Sorry, Aji. No, no problem. The French Moroccan Karim Gadji is coming back. Well, there oh. goes the, the uh, horn for the end of the round.
I will put you on the spot and ask you these difficult questions. <laughs> Stay on the fence, my friend. Stay on that fence. No, no. To be honest, the, the first three minutes from uh, from the Brazilian were amazing, and uh, but what's amazing is Gaji coming back and uh, returning back on the fight on in, on his feet. Yeah. Here we go, round number two. Uh, uh, Gadji is in the black and uh, red trunks, uh, like shorts, and uh, well, it's Felipe of Brazil in the uh, uh, black and white trunks. We'll call that black with the, the metal logo on the back. And uh, it's been very competitive first round, action packed so far. You get the feeling that the drama hasn't fully Whoa. unfolded. The big right hand from young Felipe again. I wasn't expecting uh, Felipe to have this kind of success with his hands and feet, you know. When you are looking at, at Felipe in his eyes, it's diff really difficult to know yeah. where he will look, where he will attack you. And that's a beautiful sweep and hammer oh fists. God. Rain down from uh, Felipe. He's a dangerous young man and he's full of the business and Gadji's feeling that right now. Uh, just taking uh, a little breather there by the looks of things. Felipe just putting his head on the chest. Uh, I think maybe the referee will stand them up here. Well, both of them having a rest there. Yeah. Referee's on that straight away. Up you get. Back to your feet, guys. And, uh, and this is where Gadji's at his most dangerous. Kaima. Kaima is back. Uh, he's walking into big shots, isn't he? I know, uh, we said yeah. earlier he doesn't mind taking them, but yeah. how much can well, you I take? Yeah. And at the a advanced... low kick, a really great low kick. Look at this. I mean, oh. Kick, oh my goodness! How he catch him, it's incredible! Well, this is uh, age versus youth at the moment, isn't it? The kick was mid-air, he cut it immediately and fall again and force Gaji on the floor. Gadji. the uh, triangle. Gadji. Gadji is really pushed. I thought the referee was going to stand them up there. He's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe only five seconds again or something. A little break. But there are some I mean, it's a good position, something. to be fair, for, uh, for Wallace Felipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there you go. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, has to. Yeah. Wow. Some, some bloody nerve. Okay, he's taking his uh, gum shield out there. I think he thought it was the end of the round. Some fatigue signs from Felipe. And he's got two minutes left in this round. Yeah. I think he thought the round was over. Yeah. And, and, and Karim. Uh, well, Karim is here. Well, Karim is here. He's in unbeatable. Well, he's curled into a ball now, and he better do something, Felipe, because the referee won't let this continue, and this is a bad sign once he's got that back. It's a matter of time, surely, before he uh, sinks in that lock. Can yeah, get you. he's got it. He's going to lock that in if it isn't already. No. This is a terrible position for Felipe to be in. He's tapped! There oh, you go! No! Karim Gadji!
We don't mind a bit of arty party, but after it, when it's all said and done, both men should be shaking hands, giving each other a hug, and that's what I think we uh, we all love and respect about this sport so much. Yeah.